Hi everyone, I am Camila. I am a desktop client developer. I work on the next cloud desktop client. And in this talk, I want to try to explain or yeah, I want to try to show you how to get over the fact that Nextcloud is not moving away from PHP. Despite the protests, most sources claim that PHP still makes up for about 75% of the web. And every year in conference, we always get at least one person asking, um, why is Nextcloud written PHP? Why don't you rewrite it in Go or another programming language? Even though not everyone can agree on the technology, which programming language is best. Why develop an application for Nextcloud? Why would the stop client developer be interested in writing an application for Nextcloud on the server side? And besides the usual suspects, which is Nextcloud is an open source project, Nextcloud has a very nice, uh, su in very nice and supporting community. As you know, uh, Nextcloud, um, the main uh, purpose of Nextcloud is uh, decentralized data and privacy, and I also really care about it. So if you are developing an application that is tracking um, very sensitive data, like medical history, or even tracking your period cycle, which is the application I'm trying to develop, Nextcloud is the right platform for you. You don't want this kind of data being sold or being used anywhere. And as a developer, there are enough resources like documentation, uh, libraries, and frameworks that you can use to uh, achieve what you want to do. I'm going to expand on these uh, details in the next slides. So Nextcloud tends to be very pragmatic, so PHP is still uh, the main programming language used with Vue.js as the front end. But Nextcloud tries to use the best tool for the job. So when it's needed, we will use other, other technologies. We have a high-end a high performance backend for talk that is written in Go, and there is another component that's written in Rust. And since last year, it has become possible to write Nextcloud apps in Python and other languages. This is a big project and it is still in development. So, most resources today are still uh, for development are still PHP and JavaScript. And one of the advantages of it that I can see is that you have. Um, uh, a lot of um, IDEs and editors that support those programming languages. And that's very important if you're not familiar with the technology. Um, I have been using Visual Studio Code. Uh, there is also PHP Storm, which is uh, widely used in the community. Um, you can also program in the web using uh, GitHub Codespace, which is Visual Studio Code Online. You also, to, to get started, you don't need to start from scratch. We have a very cool app generator that in a couple of minutes, you get um, all the files that you need to get started. You immediately have a Hello World app that even includes tests. And if you know what you want to develop, but you are not sure on how to proceed, we have a big app ecosystem. You can look for applications on GitLab on Git or GitHub and look for a similar app that has features that you want in your own. So you can read the code to learn how to do it. I have been using DEC for that. Then we have the Next called app framework. So you still need to write PHP code even though you have the app skeleton from the generator. And you won't need to develop again um, user management or sharing. This, those main features from Nextcloud are available to you via the Nextcloud app framework. It's the same for the uh, front end. We have ne the Nextcloud Vue.js components for that to style your application. So in conclusion, PHP and JavaScript or Vue.js do the job. And where there are uh, features missing or libraries missing, Nextcloud has its own libraries and its own um, components to help you to get the job done. And even if you're not familiar with the technology, it's possible to understand the tech stack and be productive. Thank you.